Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for your support. If you are new please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So, without wasting any more time let's just dive into the video. Jodie Marie Kummer is an English actress, from Liverpool, England. She is best known for her role as Oksana slash Villanelle in the, the BBC America black comedy drama spy thriller Killing Eve, for which she received critical acclaim, and won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, and the BAFTA Award for Best Actress. Let us see some of her other previous works. Justice is a drama series about a newly opened public justice center and its charismatic frontman. As well as featuring individual stories, the series features an ongoing story arc throughout all five episodes. At the Crown Court, the latest case against local hoodlum Jake Little is thrown out when key witness Shauna Mulhan, played by Jody Kummer, doesn't show up. Coburn visits his old church for the first time in 40 years, and is astonished to find Father Jim Kelly is still there. You see what he's doing? He's giving me a chance! That's more than anyone else has ever done for me. Stuff that press! I know I've done the right thing! <laughs> She's not your business. Three trials, Joe. And each time the witness pulled at the last minute. Me. Kummer starred in two episodes of the crime series Silent Witness, including both part one and part two. Elderly Tom Poffitt fakes a fall at his long-term terraced house in Bleak Yorkshire to escape to a care home. However, moments after arriving the social worker, that delivered Tom is thrown from the seemingly impenetrable fourth-floor window of Tom's room, with only her, and the frail Tom inside. This mystifies teenage care assistant Hannah, played by Jodie Kummer, although local police, including depressed detective Rob Fairholm are largely uninterested. One by one, strange things begin happening to those in contact with Tom, including Hannah and her family, and Tom soon vanishes from his hospital bed without explanation. Returning to Tom's home, Hannah starts to piece together several clues that lead her to Scarborough, where a dark secret from Tom's past comes to light, and it becomes apparent that the paranormal is moving against them. Going to shut up! Just shut up! How dare you bring that out of my house! You got this Stacey Stringfellow's gang. Who's Stacey Stringfellow? Ray, if you're in with them, then you're in. In where? With the boys. Which boys? The boys. I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, well, I haven't. Hi, Stacey! Oh my god, she just completely blanked me. My Mad Fat Diary is set in Stamford, Lincolnshire in the mid-1990s, follows the story of 16-year-old girl, Ray Earl, who has just left a psychiatric hospital, where she has spent four months. She begins to reconnect with her best friend, Chloe, played by Judy Kummer, who is unaware of Ray's mental health and body image problems, believing she was in France for the past four months. Ray attempts to keep this information from her, while also trying to impress Chloe's friends Finn, Archie, Izzy, and Chop. Or the world's gonna be too big for me. And Ira, if anyone ever finds you and thinks I'm crazy, well, they just might be right. My mad fat diary. Dr. Foster is a BBC One drama television series that was first broadcast on 9 September 2015. The five-part series, written by Mike Bartlett, is about Dr. Gemma Foster, who suspects that her husband is having an affair with a woman named Kate, played by Judy Cummer. After she follows several lines of inquiry, her life unravels. The storyline was inspired by the ancient myth of Medea, a wronged wife who poisons her husband's new bride and kills their children. Thursday night around what nine ish you got your cock out and you put it in her. Yeah. Believe me when I say if you have slept with her, I will hate every bit of you. But it will be nothing compared to my reaction if you now lie to me as well. Rillington Place is a drama focusing on the true stories of murderer John Christie, his wife Ethel, and their neighbor Timothy Evans, who all lived at the infamous address. Two of Christie's victims were Beryl Evans, played by Judy Cummer, and her baby daughter Geraldine, who, along with Beryl's husband, Timothy Evans, were tenants at 10 Rillington Place during 1948-49. This case sparked huge controversy after Evans was charged with both murders, found guilty of the murder of his daughter and hanged in 1950. 
Later, Christie himself subsequently admitted killing Beryl, but not Geraldine. It is now generally accepted that Christie murdered both Beryl and Geraldine, and that police mishandling of the original inquiry allowed Christie to escape detection and enabled him to murder four more women. That's in need of a bit of a polish. Hmm. Full service, was it? <laughs> After being held captive for 13 years, Ivy Moxham, played by Judy Kummer, finally escapes from her cellar to resume her life. However, things get complicated when the police find that she is hiding certain secrets. This show has earned Jodie a nomination for the BAFTA and Royal Television Society Awards for Best Actress. Ivy's been damaged. Is she all right? Honestly? I don't know. He's taken another girl. Ivy's our strongest lead to finding Phoebe. <laughs> She's fragile. I've only been stuck underground for 13 years after all. So much of what she says doesn't add up. She's lying to us. You can trust me. In a tale of power, family, love and betrayal, The White Princess is an adaptation from Philippa Gregory's best-selling novel of the same name. It's told from the perspective of three noble women waging an ongoing battle for the English throne at the conclusion of the War of the Roses. Promised in marriage to the newly crowned King Henry VII and hopes that it will unite the kingdom, Princess Elizabeth played by Jodie Comer instead resents and plots against him. She matches wits and wills with Lady Margaret Beaufort, King Henry VII's mother, each maneuvering to gain his trust. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's mother, Dowager Queen Elizabeth Woodville, struggles with rumors that her long-lost son Prince Richard is alive, and forcing Elizabeth into choosing between her new Tudor husband played by Jacob Collins Levy, and the boy who could be her own blood and the rightful York King. be fooled by her. She's quite the politician. Lizzie doesn't need Hidden and patient. That will be my motto. Jodie Comer stepped into the world of Inspector George Gently in 2014, starring in the episode called Blue for Bluebird. A young woman is found dead on a beach while vacationing. Comer takes on the role of Justine Lanyard, best friend to the deceased. Gently, Martin Shaw, leads the investigation, and in this situation, everyone is suspect. We wondered if we went there something. You'd do anything to save this guy. More amazing fact about Jodie. She was in an episode of Holby City when she was just 16. Holby City is a British medical drama television series that airs weekly on BBC One. The episode was called Promises. Originally aired on 27 January 2010. Is there any chance you might be pregnant? As if. Sorry, but I gotta ask you this stuff. <laughs> well, I haven't even got a boyfriend. How about drugs? No, thank you. <laughs> Dabbled in anything? No. Anything at all? Never. 